Hello, 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 Internet! Today we will be playing Todd's Adventure in Slime World. This was a uh, little game from my childhood on the Genesis. And let's just jump right into easy. This is Todd with his rat tail and spaceship. And this is Slime World with all of its hideous brain platform mush goo. You guys are not goo, it's slime. I'm going to be moving pretty quickly in this first episode. It is a side-scrolling 2D... I hesitate to say Metroidvania, but it's kind of a Metroidvania. Todd here is equipped with a water pistol, and that's about it. I've already picked up a couple uh, gun upgrades. You just saw me pick up one right there. Uh, the, main, the main crux of the game is just running around grabbing crystal... Little, uh, little blue gems, because, you know, it's a, it's a video game from the 90s. What are you going to do? And basically avoiding trying to get slimed. Todd should not be in slime. He's uh, he's getting kind of green around the gills there, as you can see. Uh, this game has kind of a predated Mario uh, sunshine in a lot of ways, in that there's accurate slime modeling on a character, and too much of it will make him kick the bucket. Shiza, I've, uh, I've forgotten which button I mapped to jump. <laughs> I've, I've done a couple of test plays here. Um, easy's not too hard to get through, and I don't know why I'm collecting these gems. I'm collecting the gems because it's something to do while I scramble for stuff to talk about. Um, every, everything in this game is just going to spew, spew slime at you. Uh, which is going to be not too terribly bad. There's 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 a lot of there's a lot of room for error when it comes to uh, damage modeling in this. You can take a lot of hits, and there's usually plenty of water speckled about to uh, clean yourself off in. So far, it's a fairly easy game. Now, uh, up in the corner there, you're looking at a live updating map, which is really helpful. Really, really helpful. Uh, yeah, there, I'm up at the corner now. Unfortunately, it live updates pretty slowly. See, I can actually, I can actually kill these guys. And yeah, when you kill things, uh, they also spew slime. Like I said, this is, this is basically the precursor to, um, Mario Sunshine, and also in ways Metroid. Um, I have, I have no, no, uh, backing on this, but this did come out. Before Super Metroid, which I believe was one of the first games to really incorporate the uh, live updating uh, map over there, um, and it really feels like like this is this is an expansive game. There are a lot of uh, areas to poke around in. Um, I'm I'm currently lost as all heck at the moment uh, because, well, here I'll show you if I can ever get out of this room. Dead air. Lovely. Well, just what I want. Crap! Okay, those guys hurt. Those guys hurt a lot. Um, I can kill it, but a lot of this game, you really don't uh, spend time doing the most unique thing in this game. Uh, squirt, squirt in that water. Because uh, it's just easier to run from enemies. This right here, this wall, door, that you can just kind of walk through, very self-evident. But, you'll also have noticed that I just sometimes phase through walls in this game. Oh yeah, there's the arrow. Follow the arrows, they generally lead you in the right direction, and act as your save points. Why'd I walk backwards? There's water right in front of me. Good grief. I am horrible at this, please excuse me. Um, I'll just wait for a good example. There, see, ceiling. Jump to the wall. Oh, bloody hell. Huh. Usually on the map when there's an up to tilt like that, it means that uh, walls in this game have secret passages in them. Here we go. This is one. There we go. See? Look, just jump through the wall. Explore to your heart's content. And that also leads to some very interesting um, options for you to... Not necessarily sequence break, but this is, this is a maze-like cavern that we're exploring. And I've just given up on collecting gems. The, the, the game kind of has a score attack in which uh, your main goal is to get out from all the way from the entrance to the exit. Um, 
But along the way, I mean, the real challenge of the game is getting a high score. Nothing that I care about. Just beating this game is a pain in the arse to do. And not so much on easy, which I could do uh, way back when I first had my Genesis. Uh, I'm not going to give my, uh, my actual how young I am. But I'm a young one compared to the peers. Um, I could beat easy back when I had this game on cart. Which is a sad story. I no longer have it on cart. Um, but I don't think I beat any of the other game modes. And yeah, they're actual game modes. They're not just different levels or maps. Um, I'll get into that more in detail when we actually try something else out. But each one generally has their own rule set to how that works. Some don't let you fire your gun, and so you do just have to run or puzzle your way through stuff. Um, others are time attack. We don't speak of those game modes in this uh, in this channel. I will not be doing the time attack. Ah! You know what? I might be doing the time attack. I haven't decided yet. There are two game modes that I'm really weary about doing. Time attack and basically Iron Man mode. One hit kill, dead and you're done. Uh, and you're gonna see, this is easy. This is the smallest map. And I've already zigzagged from one end of it to the other. We were, uh, we were just up top there if you look at the map. That's where we got dropped off. Uh, oh yeah, no, still. We also, we also have items that I just personally never use for no good reason other than I'm lazy and just find running away from my problems to be a more satisfying conclusion in life. Uh, it just tends to work out better. And I have yet to die. Oh, I say that right when the worm guys show up. You can't actually kill the worms. They just hide in their little hole and they touch you and really, really hurt. Uh, they do a lot of slime damage all at once. Um, like the, the enemies will be getting a lot more screen time in future episodes. Ah, the red bastards. Red slime will kill you instantly, which is just, it's, it's a one hit death. This game does have the one hit deaths. That's one of the ways that they exist. I don't really know what I'm doing down here. May as well explore. Right? This, this, this game this game really wars. Ah, there we go. Okay. Uh, it was off screen. You might not have seen it, but I'll show it here again. Ah. These red gems. You saw me pick one up early on. Uh, they completely clean you off and grant you slime invincibility for a short period. That's the blinking and the... And the, uh... Shining. The noise. It, it kind of gets all squeaky. But you uh, spray them. I didn't mean to die there. And they also shoot red uh, red goo. Red slime, if you will. Oh man, I'm all the way back here. So, uh, be forewarned when going for those. They also have huge point values associated with them. So, I'm also going to be talking now. Uh, I'm going to announce what I'm going to be talking about. Yeah, that's, uh, that's professional as all hell. Um... You think, you think the Castlevania control's bad. This game has the controls from hell. Uh, Todd has some very interesting jump arcs. Uh, all dependent on which way you control the buttons. That was also a full clean. The blue arrows full clean you. I, I don't really see the need for that. But uh, I'll wait till we get to a large room and I'll, I'll try and show that off. Hopefully I can kill this jerk. Ah, come on. Oh, yeah, and there's also uh, slime pools that lead to uh, lead to secret areas. A lot of this game is just putting yourself in slime's way for uh, for massive reward. And there, yeah, now I'm uh, immune, immune to all damage. So, if I jump up here... Yeah, that's, that's not going to work. He's, he's on top of you. Great. D uh, mm, jump arcs. Todd kind of... Uh, Auto clings to walls when you're falling down. That's just a general general rule he has there. Bubbles are bad. That guy hurts. That guy really hurts. Um, I don't want to be touching him at any time soon. And the slime also does tend to cling to you. Like, I got a couple of drops. That's damage over time that you're hearing every little uh, tick there. Uh, that worm is bad. So, here we go. And those guys start spawning. 
I will explain Todd's jumping uh, situation here. And it really comes into play in later levels. They have some weird jump puzzles that you have to do. Jump straight up and you kind of do a forward arch. Jump holding a direction and you jump straight forward. And there's a myriad of weird physics problems that that can uh, introduce. There's nuances that I can't really explain here. But that's the, the basic thing I will be forever dealing with is... When should I do just a slight hop? When should I hold up and do a slight hop to give me that little extra, little extra juice in my pants? Uh, forget I said that. Um, all of these are odd, unusual ticks. Like there, holding up, you jump a little bit higher. I hit my head on the ceiling. Without it, I just clung to the wall. And falling and jumping off of walls all had their unique, yeah, unique. Yeah. And the word's gone. The word's gone! You're just gonna have to deal with that. Uh, this this level really is just your introduction to all of the main elements. Um, right now, we're gonna see blue slime, which you can't cling to walls on. So, just makes life, uh, life a whole lot more interesting. Unfortunately, there's no zoomed out map that I can show you guys. Um, without actually breaking out the graph paper. Which is what I and one other guy on the internet are gonna have to do for you. Uh, this game, as far as I can tell, is not very well known. I was able, though, to hunt down some hand-drawn, low-resolution images of maps that this guy did on graph paper, and I salute him because, I mean, I would if I had the time, but I got a lot of projects on my plate and it's already done for me, so why not? I'm gonna be going in and touching them up on Photoshop, though, make everything a little bit more crisp, and hopefully upload those and do a little bit of behind the scenes for you guys. There's gonna be some editing in here. I've probably already done some showing you it. Um, but it's, it's, a, it's a fairly obscure game, and I was really thankful that I could find detailed maps. I, I was pretty sure someone on the internet must be as fondly, or must fondly remember this as much as I do, and be as obsessed with it as people on the internet can get. I am not obsessed with this. This this was a fortuitous remembrance. Blah. Talk. You, you're gonna be doing this for a while. You need to learn how to work your tongue, boy. Um. Those are little red things. They take away all our tools. I didn't use or show you any of our tools, so I'm not too worried. But there's a button that I can press that, uh, there, map and restart. It says up at the top. I'm not gonna hit restart. You hold that, you press up, and you can get tools. Uh, I should be able to pick some up in a minute. They, they should drop some. Stuff like uh, room clearing bombs that also kill you if you're still in the room. Which is actually more useful than it sounds. Uh, or water pure or slime purifiers, I guess. That purify slime vats. Thankfully, it doesn't kill your gun. Your gun is not considered a tool. And you can upgrade your gun to a point. Uh, here, I'll show you. There, I got a slime shield. I can activate that and it basically just acts as a red gem. Holding down on this creates that really obnoxious noise telling you that uh, you can't actually pick it up. So that's why I just tend to avoid pickups. Because they just spam that... That fuzz. And there's the cleanser. Uh, let's see if I can actually uh, show that off. Cleanser. Spelled... Cleanser. But you had enough room to spell restart. So, oh great, that didn't work. You know why that didn't work? Because there's a secret passage down here. Ha! Check your map. It usually tells you about the existence of this stuff. <sighs> Anyways, cleanser, you throw it in and it should have cleaned that slime pool. It didn't because I never use it. It's dumb. I never use it except for that time that I actually have to use it. Here, let's, 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 do, let's, let's do this song and dance again. Hey! Now it's, uh, now it's safe. But you, you really don't need it because there was water up there. And you shouldn't just be, like, running your face into guys or slime like I really am. I believe that the slime drops are hard-coded, like, from the ceiling that I just got hit there, and you can see it traveling. Um, so there are actual safe spots. Um, yeah, they're, they're just... already have one. They litter a bunch of power-ups because, trust me, you're gonna die a lot in this game. Here's where you should use your cleanser, because feeling in slime is bad, but no, it really is not. You just get to wash yourself off. Come on, being a dirty boy is not that bad. Uh, it says gun is full, but it'll let you pick it up. This is this is one thing that annoys me, is I can just go by and pick up all the gun upgrades 
forever infinitely, and uh, they're not going to complain. Nothing respawn, Jesus, when you die. Nothing respawns, so you can be stuck with uh, the... Well, you know what? Screw it. I'll show you. I'll die here. These worms suck. I'm going to die. It's not that far back from the last save point. This is your regular gun. It sucks. Worms will spawn endlessly. There's no way to get rid of them, so most of the time I just tank it. That is, oh, I should have kept the regular gun. That wasn't too bad. Those those guys take some they take some nice hits. The enemy design in this game is great. This is the exit, and I somehow missed something I was gonna yell about. But anyways, I'll see you guys next time if I can remember how to jump. Oh wait, no, no, no. The ending is great. Uh, the ending is fantastic. You get that Duke Nukem face of glory. I, I swear they ripped it straight off. And some pretty uh, pretty rockin' music. The music in this game is fantastic, although uh, I'm gonna have to be doing something interesting. That I'll explain later! This is, this is an episode full of me stalling and doing laters, so... See ya when I see ya.